I'm sure I've done this before, but I'm going to try it again. Time. Motion causes time. Time is not some vague field that surrounds everything and interpenetrates everything and you can't find it or pin it down or detect it with instruments. It's caused by motion. Motion precedes time. Where there is no motion, there is no time. It's the motion of the points that is being addressed here. These little guys, if they move in relation to another point, then time appears in the gap between them. If there's no gap, no motion of one with respect to the other can happen. There is gap, one can move or the other can move being pushed around, of course, by points outboard of them and points outboard of them. Okay.